Okay, so thanks to this comment from Andre Ziegler, Consta Kang updated his ASOP 13 build for Pi 4 and claims now hardware decoding and encoding support. So this would be the previous version, uh, which was from this video, and the, the installation is the same as the previous video, but I wanted to show the Geekbench scores because it definitely is better. So if we have a look at the scores that this one got, so we've got 205 single core score, and 584 multi-core score just to show you that everything is the same so if we go into settings and scroll down to system because I've overclocked both systems uh, so this is running at 2 gigahertz there you go and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom hardware video decoding was switched off in this build I had tried it on a few things and didn't find it to be that successful but in this newer build definitely seems to be better and if we have a look at the Constacang page for the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, you can see here that the release came out on the 30th of January, so very recent. And this is always being updated. This is, this is a great build. This is the more sort of stripped down basic version of Android. The Lineage OS version always comes later, which is a bit more polished, but the AOSP version is always the most up to date. And you can see here loads and loads of things working and supported. And if we keep scrolling down, uh, here we go, change log. So H.265 hardware video decoding, H.264 hardware video decoding and encoding, updated to MISA 22.3.4 and Linux kernel 5.15.81. So let's close this down and do a comparison with the newer version which I've already installed. Okay, so here's the new version, and let's just go into settings just to confirm that it's all set up the same. So Raspberry Pi settings, scroll down, and we've got the CPU set to 2 gigahertz. And you can see under the video bit here, if I click on it, there's various different options. Uh, so if I click on this one, so this is enabling everything, hardware, video decoding and encoding. Uh, this is how it comes as, as default. I was playing around with settings because I was messing about with the video editing software to see what was different. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it on as it is default. And let's go back to Geekbench and start that up and run CPU Benchmark. Okay, so it's just finished. And we have a score. So I'll put the old result at the top. So you can see the old result was 205 on single core score. We've now got 254. That's quite a significant difference. And also on the multi-core score, it's gone from 584 up to 662. And I really wasn't expecting quite such a significant improvement, but uh, I'm really pleased about it. And uh, it shows that as these new versions of Android come out, because I haven't done this before, uh, the improvement is definitely measurable. The improvement will be noticeable in things like game emulation and video editing, obviously, especially video editing now that hardware encoding and decoding is present. And I've got uh, in here some video editing software, UCut. I was looking for some free video editing software. Um, so let's just close some of these things down. Let's close everything down so that we've got all our resources. This is an 8 gig Pi 4. So go into UCut. I've already put a video on there, unfortunately it's in portrait mode because it's obviously a phone uh, piece of software. And then we do plus, and I've got some 1080 GoPro footage here, uh, which I'd edited before. Oh, it's actually remembered, uh, I, was, I was playing around with various different things. So if we were to change to black and white, and we've got all sorts of settings here. Let's just tick that, I'm happy with that. Uh, what have we got along here? It's obviously yeah, very much to do with touch. And if I want to put some text on there. And then we've got all this. It actually it actually works fine. So as I flick through, it's nice and responsive. Uh, and I can change the colour. And just tick to, to save that. We can move that somewhere up in the corner. And let's save this, and I can save it as 4K. Uh, let's get down to 25 FPS, because I'm not sure if it's gonna play it at 4K. Uh, quality, I guess I'll go with medium to not put too much stress on the Pi when it's playing back. So let's hit save. 
and see how quick are oh, we get an advert allow notifications no okay so how do I get rid of the TikTok advert I'm gonna press the back arrow oh skip advert LumaFusion doesn't do this oh now it's gonna open up oh right let's go back to the editing software and close that down oh God, how do we go back to that then it started now that I've watched the advert and everything else so it obviously didn't want to slow down the system before I did that okay so I'm gonna start a stopwatch now I'll put on screen how long it took from 3% onwards okay so it has finished you can see it says it's saved and uh, it took 17 minutes and 22 seconds and that was from 3% so yeah it's not the fastest editing software uh, but I'm not going to judge this build on that because I've, I've no idea uh, what this editing software makes use of and how efficient it is and so on but uh, yeah I won't be editing my videos on the Pi at this stage I'll still keep using my iPad Pro so let's have a look and see if we can find it what is it say storage emulated movies you cut right so let's go into files let's try a large file see if it comes under that ah here we go you cut 328 p.m. it's got to be that one so let's see what it tries to play it in so if I right click it and open with let's try the ordinary video player that's built in and see if it can play this 4k file it can't but again that might be the software it looks nice and crisp though I'm looking at it on the 1080 display let's go out of that and should we try something like VLC because that would usually make use of all of that sort of thing so I haven't got Google Play Store on here I've only got the uh, Aptide Store at this stage so let's install that okay so that didn't take very long let's try and open it from here so open with VLC yeah obviously the audio is not skipping or anything but it's not it's not attempting to play the video at all oh but if I okay so if I skip to different points in the video it shows up never let it play now no it doesn't like it I might export it to my iPad and see if it plays on that just to see if the video file worked but if I go back I've got the original GoPro footage here so if I right click and open with just to show you that 18060 plays so you can see that's playing let's quit out of that yeah if I put this video file onto my little USB stick I'll try that on the iPad so copy it is only about a 49 second video I think what we'll see in a minute on the iPad paste okay so let's have a look on my iPad I've plugged it into the USB-C socket and uh, let's go into files and start playing the video let's open it in VLC yeah that looks like it's going to be fine yeah happy with that so thanks very much to Consta Kang and everybody else involved in this. They're doing a great job. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.